Hello. Yo, it's Kara. Yippee. <laughs> you down. Enthusiastic. <laughs> Say hi, everyone. Or else. How is this even a countdown? I don't know. Apparently, it's the like standard YouTube countdown or something. Mm. Okay. Uh -oh. 16. Can't play that. What? <laughs> Mikula the kind spoke of the beginning. The seduction and the betrayal. An affair from which gold arose. And so too was Shadow born. What followed was a war unseen. Oh! Get fired, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One that could never be put to song. A purge without grace or honor. Oh, Mesma. The tyranny of Mesmer's flame. Oh, it's this guy. Yes, the enemy. Yeah. Ends the game. And so kindly, Mikula would abandon everything. His golden flesh. His blinding strength. Even his faith. That looked like a new type of grace or something. <laughs> NPCs know what you will remember, but like, that's well, it! <laughs> the release date is the same, so that's good news. <laughs> that stays the same way. Yeah. It did look like an interactive, like this golden thing, it looks like a new grace or like, I mean, this doesn't even look like NPCs necessarily, so, but maybe other players or something, mm -hmm. you know, and maybe like, if you poop someone, you get a fire swamp instead. <laughs> Could be another portal, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Like a portal type thing. Or maybe... And so kindly, Mikula would abandon everything. It could be maybe like a portal to different areas or something like that. Mm hmm. We call a great rune. But like, there wouldn't really just be uh, random instances of that. Just kill them here, right? Ha! Power up grace for the new leveling? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I thought. Maybe it's a new type of grace, right? Because it does still look a little bit like that. Yeah, I was I was talking about this recently that there's like no way that you have Melina in the DLC, right? Because mm -hmm. you level up differently and stuff. And technically she could totally be gone when mm -hmm. you enter the DLC already. Yeah. She could have burned herself by then. So you are going to have to have like a new system of that. And graces are, from my understanding... Like a creation of the of the Golden Order, maybe, or mm. like the the Greater Will, and as such, it would make sense that in the Land of Shadow, there's a different grace instead. Right? Yeah, it do, would definitely make a lot of sense. So yeah, 
think that would be... Probably this isn't one of the new weapons. Huh? I feel, at least. Mm, Maybe mm. some new armor. Like, I do feel like this is probably player characters. They don't look that much like NPCs, no. I feel. Can't see them changing graces to another visual for consistency. I can see them do it because it's, like, quite disconnected world. Mm. Like, I could see them. I mean... Uh... Yeah, these are all new... This? Oh, sorry. No, it's all good. I was just gonna look... At the, at the armors and stuff? Yeah. We choose to follow. Like they're all, yeah, new and I don't know. This one's like the the one, the third one from the left. It's kind of hard to see. I think he's facing away too. He's, he might be facing away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. It's That's the back. Interesting yeah. because all of them are looking towards this, but this one guy is facing away. And that's yeah. kind of weird. I feel like that would be deliberate as well. No. Yeah, everyone's looking this way. Yeah, everyone's looking there, except that guy. He's like, meh. <laughs> Maybe, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he didn't buy the DLC. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, he's like, what the hell are you guys looking at? Yeah. <laughs> Just sees nothing. <laughs> uh, I really love this, like, with the, how it looks like a veil. Mm -hmm. I think it looks really cool. Straight away to have a part of peace and not disturb the other, if possible. Yeah, and that's why he turns the butt towards them, yes. Yes. <laughs> This looked so crazy the beginning of it with the blood. Like this area, I wonder if that's gonna be an area. Like this could be a boss fight arena, I feel. You know? I'm so too... Maybe for the final boss um, and you just don't see it. They've shown that before, I think. Mm. Like they haven't shown a final boss in trailers before, I think, but they've shown the final arena. Mm hmm. That would make sense, yeah. And maybe this is like, yeah, where you. Meet Mikala or something. That's interesting, like... What is that golden hair? Yeah, they show him Gil's arena, yeah. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Mm. Is that Marika? Mikala this, no? Yeah, I think it would be Mikala. An affair from which gold arose. Well, actually, no. It's an affair from which gold arose. So oh. that could be Ra Radagon and Marika, yeah. True, and like the hair is Mikala's maybe or something? Or... I'm not really sure. Isn't this like how maybe the Earth Tree was born? Mm. It does look like a rune arc, yeah, actually. Agree. Yeah, it does look Here, like that's a good point as well that it looks like board. Blasphemous Blade on the sides, yeah, but that's like the entire theme of like Rikard and Mesmer, right? Mark had blonde hair, yeah, but this character who's holding it also has blonde hair, so I think it's Marika. And Radagon when it was Marika. Also, yeah, here's the bracelets and stuff, right? Like, she wore that. Marika did. The Remember same that. type of bracelets, I think. The fabric of everything. Oh. And so too was Shadow born. Yeah, I think this is probably Marika, and this is like the born of the earth tree and stuff. And then... Just like with the fire in Dark Souls was also created dark. Mm. That's created the shadow as well, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. And I guess maybe yeah, that was where that was created. And it would make sense that maybe we go there to have the final, final boss fight of everything, right? Because they said it's the only DLC mm. that they're gonna make, so it could be like the final boss of everything is basically where everything started. I find that hard to believe, maybe, because the lore of the DLC, or the, the happenings in the DLC, should not uh, affect the endings of the final game, like the base game, rather. Mm. I'm not really sure if you can do something as substantial. I think it's a little bit mm. more separated. I see what you mean. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Malachi. Yeah, it feels like it's the first flame from Dark Souls 1 again. Oh, Raikar does say a serpent never dies. Could be he be back too? Hmm. Maybe it's Tanith. He ate him. <laughs> now she's the serpent. Let's watch the whole thing yeah. again, but with subs. Oh, yes. Mind. I'll see you in a bit, mate. Mikula the kind spoke of the beginning. The seduction and the betrayal. 
So what is that? Seduction of Radagon? Or like, what is that supposed to mean? Yeah, I don't know. So what is she reaching into here? Yeah, it looks a little bit like a... I don't know. Like... Analogy. I mean, yeah. Yeah, like, I do see the analogy, yeah. But, like... I'm just pulling out hair. It's... What the fuck? God skin to see. Yeah, it, it is a piece of, like, cloth. You can, mm -hmm. you can see the... Uh... Whatever the uh, markings are called on the seams. Mm -hmm. There's something There's inside. There's something inside, yeah. yeah. And she's pulling out the golden, like, string, golden threads. I mean, if you, yeah, if you combine it with the picture that was posted, that looks like a uterus, essentially, mm -hmm. it could be that uh, birth is, uh, is very important for this, mm -hmm. yeah. Can see the head push. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's the egg necessarily. Yeah, it could it could also be the fact that it's uh like Mikela inside or something and it's being mm. stolen from. And the betrayal. Nice feet. <laughs> An affair from which gold arose. Hmm. It could also be that it's a uh, like Marika and Radagon's child, right? Mm hmm Then the gold was created from Yeah. Yeah, and she took it, which may be her taking the golden hair from her own child. I mean that's a big betrayal, right? Mm -hmm. I mean Godwin as well, but Godwin ended up being killed with the knight of the whatever the fuck black something. Yeah, but like, I mean, that one okay. thing that they posted on Twitter did have the same pose as Godwin and stuff like that, right? And also, yeah. So, I do think it could also have something to do with Godwin. Mm. Or at least the DLC. I mean, it's bodies on the left side here. Mm. It's bodies everywhere. It's yeah. all bodies. Yeah. You can see the hands. But isn't that stuff. that's I mean, isn't that also what the blasphemous blade is though? It's exactly like, like yeah, the blasphemous right? blade. Yeah. Another vagina here in the middle. <laughs> I'm really starting to see the theme, guys. <laughs> Miyazaki is a cheeky one. He's just just making a, a porn game actually. <laughs> With a big setup. He sells the original game to over twenty million people so he can <laughs> sell them a triple X game after that. Uh and so too was shadow. But yeah, this this to me seems something like that, yeah, that we just talked mm -hmm. about. Shadow born. What followed was a war unseen. This was like I mean, didn't Godfrey like go away far away into some war and stuff like that? I don't know if you know if he went into a war. Wasn't that why he was like gone? I mean he was away, he was exiled. And stuff like that, and then he came back. He killed like the giants he was, and stuff yeah, like that. That was before he got exiled. Yeah, but like here it says like after everything was born, there was a war. Never seen before. <laughs> yeah, but then I mean in this you see Mesmer leading the forces here. Yeah, of, of but us. I mean, there was like some theory about time travel stuff, right, as well, or the there's realm. no time travel with the deals, or the realm being like outside of the normal timeline or something, the realm of the shadow of their tree. Yeah, that's that. Miyazaki said that's not the case, though. It's happening at the same time as the main game is happening. Mm. So I don't think there's more stuff. Ron talks about a vagina in the center. What about the sky around it as the first play in the Elden Ring in Elden Ring with the purple sky? Hmm. I mean, that could potentially the the shadow, right? Yeah, like early golden order and mesmer, maybe. I don't I don't hate that idea. What the idea? Where? Oh uh, last Malachi the second to last. Yeah, the lion would be on the Golden Order side. I mean, Mesmer is leading the forces that are attacking the castle. I mean, that's what I'm saying, though. It it does kind of make sense because it's like an old-timey war that they're showing here. I mean, yeah, I, I can see that Godfrey would be defending, though. Yeah, I mean, I never said he was on the side of Mesmer, right? Yeah, of course, but you were talking about him traveling. 
Yeah, because like he was traveling to this place where the war was, no? Hmm. I mean, that's I feel like if this is early Golden Order, I don't think the lands between really like existed. Maybe I'm wrong. Yo, what's up, Anya? Hello. Hello. But yeah, I do think this is like a flashback type thing, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. This is kind of like the the shattering that we see. I mean, yeah. Okay, cinematic. so all right. Well, okay. But you just say, think it's a different war than the one that was talked about that God Godfrey was a part of. Yeah, I mean. But like, I just feel like when he goes against the giants and stuff like that, that I think that's after that, mm. right? Like, I think because like, if if this side wins, like Mesmer's, maybe that's why they're only in the lands between. And Golden Order isn't really in the shadows. Because he won. Mm -hmm. You know? Fair. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the ring sounds deep, actually. Never be put to song. Who's this being completely uh, speed penetrated <laughs> here? Yeah, I don't know. They're just marching, like, aside from it. Yeah. Sure. Me off the fight club? How dare you? Hmm. like, this isn't Landell, right? So it has to be like in the original place where they were situated. It should be the Land of Shadow originally. Yeah. But yeah, I guess a purge without grace or honor. It might be like that they basically banished anyone with golden order type stuff from this land. This war, right? Yeah. No, grace or honor. I mean... Uh, there's not gonna be any 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 regular graces. Could be the fact, like this sentence telling you. I mean, this I, is a purge without grace, so they do get rid of the the actual graces, right? And it's just different. I do think it's yeah. looked so much like it would yeah. be a grace. Like it, look, it grace. looked, it looked pretty big though. Yeah, but like, why not? Yeah, yeah. Purge without grace. Who's that as well? It's like holding a baby or something in his arms. So, like yeah, some, some cloth. fucked up baby though. What is happening <laughs> there? I mean, it's like, it looks like it's something wrapped up in cloth yeah, and yeah, it's Yeah, it does look flying. like it, except the cloth is it's, yeah, weirdly flailing to that side, yeah. I guess it's not even flailing though. Look, it's like it's standing not, it's still. It's actually static. It's yeah. like, but it's so weird because it looks like cloth, but maybe it's like standing still in time or something. Hmm. Like something weird. Yeah, maybe it's just holding a weapon. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it could I mean, be could, a yeah, weapon. But, but the way I guess it's it holding does. is like a baby. Yeah, but I guess it looks a little bit like this could be the continuation it of does, it. It does, yeah. It does look like a spear. Yeah. I do agree. Commander's banner. Maybe griefing the commander or something. Yeah, Black Knife Assassin? I don't know. I mean... If it has stuff to do with the... Um, the dude who got assassinated. Godwin. Yeah, Godwin. Look at the buildings in the back. What do I see in the back? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> They're all buildings! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually really onto something. Holy. Are the two trees that keeps the realms apart, maybe? Maybe. I mean, the the little bit of hair. I don't know. It does look, I don't know, it, the coat is just too long for Black Half Assassin, though, I feel. Like, the... Mm. I don't think the veil is as long Yeah, there. It isn't. It's more like the mid-back, I think. Mm. Barefoot person again? They are, yeah, barely visible, but they mm. are barefoot. Yeah. I mean, that's what I was thinking, that maybe it's Marika holding something. I right? thought that was for, at first but as I'm well, not sure, but And somehow... she doesn't have the bracelet here. Unless... Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think there, there is. I don't, I don't see, like, I mean, there's, like, a little bit of something on this part. 
I'd go, it, but that could just be behind the hand. I don't, I don't think, think it's a actually, bracelet, no. It w- and bracelet, it would yeah. be more pronounced, and also she always has the upper arm bracelets, and th- there's definitely nothing mm, there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this Big is a cool, dog. cool boss, yeah. <laughs> That's interesting because, like, I thought we would be fighting that thing, right? Well, yeah, but uh, Which probably... there's multiple of them, I think, right? I guess They're that could creatures, be, yeah. yeah because uh, the the fire giants that you see in the first trailer as well, there's multiple of them. Here. Mm. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, so, that's yeah. what you meant, yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be that uh, it's not even a boss. Probably is, but there yeah. were some of the enemies in the original trailers we talked about it recently as well that looked very very impressive and then ended up being just like regular <laughs> uh regular enemies yeah lion dancers are just all three with tree spirits yeah possible mm. i guess them people as well and ones one impaled it does burn down the capital to the ground very much, but mm-hmm. uh, what does that mean? I don't know. That is a that is a big spear, though. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it could be one of those things where when the player equips it, it's a lot shorter, right, Hunter? You also like you don't have. Big blasphemous blade. <laughs> exactly, that's what I was thinking. You also don't have like right cards, like in half of the world long uh, blasphemous blade, yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's. Also, what the fuck is happening here? It's like pulling <laughs> it's like... from the c- city structures, right? Yeah, it's pulling it up, like yeah. like it's not... disintegrating. Yeah, or something. exactly. It's not just uh, particles from the tree, but it's actually particles from structures. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like it's being pulled into the void or something. Maybe this world is dying. Could be. That scene was there for so long in the end. Mm. That looks a bit like a sword. Little part here. Mm-hmm. I see There's what you're the saying, handle. Yeah. And does this look at all like the new Grace? I think. I guess we'll see. A little bit. I mean, it's the new Grace is, you know, straight. It's like this, and, and then, then there's an eclipse. Yeah. Yeah. So a little bit. I a little guess. bit. Yeah. It's just cut off by this part. There ever a Souls game world that is not dying? Kind of true. Yeah. yeah, the red is just fire sparkles. I think. I think, like for example, this red over here, uh, that's just a fire sparkle. I'm pretty sure. That one looks like a paw print. <sighs> I see it. Yeah. What does it mean? Does it mean we get a cat with the DLC and a dog? Moving on. <laughs> uh. What the fuck? <laughs> and so kindly, Mikula would abandon everything. That's interesting. Like, abandon everything, I guess, from the lands between and go to this land. Then, then. Maybe. Yeah. And look, it does look like a lot like that tree thing because it, it does. also has it that It also thing. does have that, yeah. So that's interesting. Yeah, I see what, exactly what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, I really think this is the new grace or a teleporter type thing. Some but... kind of a portal could be because, like, it talks about you know abandoning and moving somewhere else, and this is shown. Mm. So yeah. But would this be like some kind of an entrance where you can spawn? Could be. 
here's another one. I completely forgot this already. I mean, I that's why I'm thinking maybe it's like different areas and it's not as open world as the normal Elden Ring, but that you and basically you, you portal walk through between the different these different regions. regions of the DLC, yeah. yeah. This looks awesome, by the way. Like, I think this is gonna be really cool. It looks like so jungly. I was kind of hoping for like a crazy foresty area. Mm. Because yeah. I think that's kind of missing from. You end up with fucking Mistwood. I mean, Mistwood has its perks. Like? Green bears? Yeah. They want to give a you perk. a hug. <laughs> that's a perk. Good hugs? But yeah, I don't know. Like, I think. I mean, I think I'm just also biased towards it. Well, I think first off, this looks cool. I think because it looks like an old abandoned building. Yeah. And it looks just. I mean, Mistwood to me looked too sparse for forest like this looks more like an enchanted forest where you can actually kind of get lost in you know mm. whereas mistwood is like it's a tiny area it is a tiny it's area. like tiny and I mean, like there's could... only a few trees and there's not like really dangling stuff like this right this could potentially also not be like a massive area this could literally be just the entrance on the right side right i mean maybe but like here and this would be like some kind of a dungeon and you could enter on this side I mean, it could be, yeah, it does look like this could be a bridge. I do agree, Arnhem, that mm. this could also be a bridge, but... Could be. Yeah, I don't know. That's awesome. His golden flesh. His blinding strength. Even his faith. Yeah, that's Centrina. I mean, yeah, there, there yeah. were many theories that uh, Mikela is Centrina, right? And this is pretty much the confirmation. I mean, yeah. But... Yeah. So I guess he... What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know how to understand it, actually. Does this mean that he uh, had to leave the, the lands between? And for some reason had to, like, leave the gold and the, uh, the, the strength and everything that comes along with it and turn into Santrina and, and go to lands of the shadow? Could be. Yeah, but why? Find out when we play the DLC? Yeah, we're not. So we're gonna <laughs> no. find out when we watch videos about yeah. it on YouTube. Vati? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> no, but like... The way it sounded is that Golden Order was in like both the, the realms. Right? Because he left the lands between. So Golden Order was already established there, I, I assume. And if Mesmer was attacking in Land of the Shadow, and that's why Mikela is going there, it would make sense that they were established in both areas. They didn't, like, have to leave and then re-establish in the other one, right? Like, they mm. existed in both places already. Or, I also like that theory of, like, maybe he couldn't enter or to hide he had to turn into a sentry mm. now. Because maybe the gold golden order of him would have been easy to detect or not possible to exist there because Mesma purged yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah. So I do actually like that idea. Yeah, yeah. that might, that, yeah, that makes sense to me, yeah can die if you are grace blessed so if the shadow land is afterlife you have to lose your golden lineage yeah, so i don't think it necessarily is going to be afterlife but you might have to purge your golden lineage uh because of what mesma did yeah mm -hmm. since the birth of the earth tree is so important for this the good theory is that makila is looking for what the halic tree is missing so it's supposed to be as grand as the earth tree but then what, how is it connected to the war I mean, maybe that war was just shown to establish how bad Mesmer is, you know? It's not bad. Fuck the gold. Mesmer's what? <laughs> Damn. You'd be joining him. Yeah, actually. Impale some people. I mean, you're basically joining Volcano Manor as well. The base game, so... Killer <laughs> uh... would abandon everything. And yeah, I do, I do also think that this might be, I think Ini said that, uh, yeah, the same building that was already showed in the previous trailer, except that was from this perspective. You were looking at the ground here. Mm, I don't right, remember From the right it. side. I don't remember it, but did you see the golden thing already as well? No, no, this no, no. This is definitely, this. this is definitely, but... Yeah. His golden flesh. His blinding strength, even his fate. But we are not deterred.
That looked yeah, a bit this... like a summoning sign. That golden thing, like mm, the way mm, you, mm. it put it on the ground, it looks like a putting down a summoning sign. Yeah, he's just putting down a message saying, "Oh dog." <laughs> what? <laughs> and also, like it, it seems like I mean we are not deterred, so maybe you can bring golden order to it. But Mikola was scared of it or something and had to hide his golden order, and we bring it to or something. That's why we smear it all over the floor. Mm, mm. I don't know. Searching for Mikala based on the clues left. I mean, it could be because of the... That is actually not a terrible idea because of how the hand is moving very, like, slowly and diligently, right? The way it moves down the ground. But we are not deterred. Mm. See, it's like, it's very gentle. I can see that, yeah. Actually, like, yeah, it, it looked at first to me like we were putting down the golden stream, but it looked like it was already there, but just You're lit up by touch. You're recovering it, yeah, basically. Yeah. Could be, yeah. But it could be just replacing the Guidance of Grace, yeah, potentially. And yeah, I do think that this could be a, a great rune, definitely. The last great rune, like, symbol of it. Mm -hmm. Not the great rune itself, but the symbol, yeah. We choose to follow. So, yeah, it would make sense that maybe Mikola put these down for us, for yeah. us to level yeah. up, for us to so follow grace. him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it makes a lot of sense, yeah. I mean, clearly, I guess these are the, the remnants of the of the capital that he burned, maybe? Yeah, I would think so. Right? It does look like yeah. it, yeah. And then, I mean... So you are already inside the DLC here. Maybe they entered here or something, I don't know. I have a feeling like, yeah, that basically the entrance point for the DLC is like the first time we see this grace. Yeah, this, this one, one I think, yeah. like to me, this looks like, because this looks a lot like the first ever picture that we saw yeah. of it as well, yeah, him yeah, on Torrent. Sure. Yeah. And I think this might be where we the first time enter the DLC where we get ported to. Mm -hmm. And then we just teleport throughout the world, maybe. It's just a collection of zones you'd be disappointed, wanted to be fully connected by with big land masses that you can ride through, like you can run from Red Main Castle up to Fire Giant without a single loading screen. I disagree. I actually think it would be great if it's just like little... Like if it's all as good as like Stormbear Castle, as like a an area where everything is so like densely packed with content, I'd rather have that than big empty spaces like mountaintops where you just run through and there's nothing mm. you know like i'd rather them have made like sure i mean it's a big thing that people usually complain about with elden ring and are like oh it's open world like i want them to go back to uh more linear right and i think this might be them going back to a more linear type thing potentially well and what was mentioned yeah go on yeah and i just think it might be a more a more selected product, you know, a little bit more densely packed, more elevated areas instead of something that connects between each other. But for that, there's a lot of empty space. Well, yeah, I think that's what it's going to be. It was kind of like hinted at in some of the interviews that it's going to be a little bit more obscure, the difference between like a dungeon and the open world. Right? Like here now when you enter a dungeon, you have this big gas door that you open, you go through for catacombs, for tunnels you just enter. Then there's an elevator and it's always like the same, you know, what you're getting into. And apparently that's going to be a little bit more obscured here. So I can totally see that this is going to be uh, way less just empty travel, yeah. Yeah, I think a that's A lot more good. going from one thing to another kind of seamlessly. And I think that's probably better, yeah. I think it's better and that way we also get more variety in areas like this looks very different right then there's the more reeds type thing and then there's the capital areas that we've seen and those don't i wouldn't really see as well how they would connect it by just running around it right and i think this way you can make very different biomes that wouldn't necessarily fit together without having to worry about interconnectedness I mean, to me, it seems like there's a lot of stuff for something the size of, like, Limgrave or slightly bigger. Seems like there's a lot of variety of areas and stuff, mm. so, yeah. We'll see. Hope it's not a closed level. I hated how in the older games you just can't jump over a barrier half your size. It felt super silly. I mean, that's true. 
Those but it's... have chosen to do many things, but you still have the barriers in Elden Ring. It's not as obvious because you can actually jump. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, that's never gonna be a thing because, of course, you still have your jump button, right? But, like, there would just be a bigger cliff that you would never be able to jump over. So it's like, it will always feel different to have it closed off in Elden Ring. I do think that there could be a bunch of verticality because when you look at the li lay of the land, right? like, there, there's quite a bit of few levels and there's the, mm -hmm. the here is the forest on the left side. Like, we've seen these parts. There's a forest on the bottom. This bridge leads, like, pretty low down. Like, I do think there could be a bunch of different uh, areas, and that's how you end up with the swamp somewhere and stuff like that. So I do think there could be a decent amount of verticality. Yeah, it looks like it. It's also another possibility is that it's not going to be this tall always, only when you light it. Could also be, yeah. Right? Or when you sit at it or something. Because this character is kind of sitting at it. Also could be, yeah. I mean, it could be, as was pointed out, that it just tells you, like, where to go and stuff, but I don't think so. I think so either. I mean, how are you gonna level, right? So it's like... I mean, I guess you would have, like, a regular grace as well. Yeah, but... but... then I think you have just way too many points of interest. Like, you're basically creating a double uh, for something that could be served with the same... Yeah, and I just think it does make sense more for a lore perspective that Mikola snuck in these types of little points and that there's no normal grace, mm. right? Who is we? Players. We choose to follow. I think it's she's literally speaking as us, the players, and that's why there's so many I mean, player that could characters make sense. here. Yeah, that could make sense. Like, it's just strange because I don't think from's trailers really ever like storytelling really ever uh talks about the player explicitly even though you see the tarnished like they're the raging wolf armor is like the protagonist of the Elden Ring trailer you're also it could just be a bunch of tarnished you know that's yeah yeah but we're part of the tarnished I mean yeah, so yeah, it's yeah us. No, I get that I get that <laughs> but like even though there's a lot of tarnished in the lands between, you don't really work with anyone, right? Like, you talk to Gideon, then Gideon tries to kill you. <laughs> but yeah, I think, yeah, I do think it's just the player characters, but it's just interesting that it uh, talks in, in a plural, that it calls out all the players, I mean, right? I, we choose to follow. I think, instead like... Instead of just one. But that's what I also think is, like, co-op, you know? I mean, I don't even know why everyone's, like, co-op confirmed, because, like... Isn't they always kind of caught up with summoning each other? And I mean, it's it like, is, yeah. so. And that's what it seems to me as well. Well, I assume Tarnish can make it there because of uh, thanks to Mikela, right? I mean, Mog will be the entrance cocoon somehow. And mm -hmm. he opened the portal or something. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's the gang party waiting to clap your cheeks the moment you enter DLC, <laughs> yeah? Can't wait to actually <laughs> one versus eight uh, NPC boss fights. Mm. It's just strange that like none of them have faces, right? They're all like fully armored, and that's why I'm thinking that it's maybe not NPC players. Yeah, exactly. That's also why I'm thinking that. And because the armors, they look special, but I feel like not NPC like mm. somehow. It all just. I don't know, it just looks very much like player characters to me. I mean, yeah. It could also, it could end up being NPCs with some time, yeah, but... Yeah, I mean, the only confusing thing, part of this, is, is this dude standing, like, facing away. I mean, it could be a bunch of NPCs, yeah. Like, you do have a bunch of NPCs that are trying to become the Elden Lord, right? They are trying to follow the guidance of Grace. And then you could have a bunch of NPCs that are trying to follow Mikela, yeah, so... I mean, we've seen, like, the, the guy on the right side, he was sitting by the bridge, you know? Or by, like, the big stairs or something. I'm pretty sure he was in the previous trailer. I definitely remember this guy. That guy as well, yeah, but I mean all the way on the right. Mm. Yeah, I know who you mean, yeah. but I don't remember him. Mm. Maybe not. Maybe it's NPCs, but to me, they just don't really look like NPCs. The only person who kind of looks like an NPC to me is actually this character. Just because mm. it, like, kind of has a face, and it looks, like, very... 
proud <laughs> and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> proud? Yeah. What does that mean? Proud. Like Bernal stands exactly or sits exactly the same way. Yeah, right? and he's very proud. So oh, maybe it's, it's Bernal 2.0. Oh. Anti Mesmer gang. <laughs> I don't think you can take this last shot way too, like, seriously. Because it's like, will you walk with us? That makes it sound like they're, like, a group that basically that went there. I mean, it could potentially be that. And now they're, like, more scattered or something happened between the NPCs or whatever, but... I mean, that's what I think as well. Yeah. I think it's just, we, the Tarnists, when we go to the DLC together, let's yeah. go. Yeah, basically. It's, like, just make, it's... trying to make us be excited to enter the DLC, I yeah. think. Because in the original, in like the original Elden Link trailer, you have the Raging Wolf armor dude, kind of represent the Tarnished as well, right? Part of the fights and everything like that. Mm. And it was basically just the player. Yeah, the imagery is really cool for sure. Like, I like the beginning especially, like, I don't know. It just yeah, looks do you so think the, the, menacing. The, I mean, it makes sense, right? Because it's the start of the trailer, so yeah. you wanted to. Of course, it's like, yeah, but they actually did it for me. It's so like, and see, it says oh, also like Mikela so the kind. So, like, that's why yeah. I'm thinking kindly. Mikela means that he just acts kindly. I do yeah. see the connection to like kin Kinda, but like, I don't what? really think so. Well, Who said that? A couple of people said Really? That, yeah. Nah, I don't, I don't know. And that's he's like so childish, essentially, as well. But kind, yeah. but like, it's no. Yeah, exactly. The opening is intense. I do think this is this is good. The seduction and the betrayal. It looks like the way it pulls out the, the thread, it does the look seduction. like it's trying to like... And the betrayal. Almost not awaken it, right? It's not mm. like ripping it out. It's more like theft to me. Mm. The seduction yeah. and the betrayal. Yeah, I mean, I think I do really think it might be just Marika stealing Mikolas. Uh, hair mm. and using that and power for herself, basically, right? And that is the betrayal. And so too was Shadow Ball. Yeah, and this could be like before anything. This so, so the, what's interesting here is the the purple sky that was mentioned before on the left and then right, and this is where like the the gold gets born, right? So this was like before gold was born, before shadow was born, like when uh, in Dark Souls One you had uh, before fire and dark, you just had the fucking dragons and some trees. That was it. So uh, it's interesting. We hear the LMB theme. We also hear obviously it starts with the 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 Radagon theme, the main theme, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Can't hear it properly because there's cars fucking around. And the betrayal. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that's just supposed to tell you, yeah, this is An the Marika. <laughs> also, this is Elden Ring. <laughs> <laughs> and so too. Yeah, you do hear the theme of Elden Beast a little bit as well. Yeah. What followed was a war unseen. One that could never be put to song. A purge without grace or honor. The tyranny of Yeah, you can force others to be your ally or something sinister to make a last power. I mean, I think that's pretty much guaranteed, right? Like, he's not a good guy. In the end, no one ever is in these games. Like, they're, everyone's a cunt. Like... I don't think that is uh, something super surprising, to be honest. Nikola could be genuinely good, and the extent of using his power for evil uh, was what Marika did with the stolen hair. I think it's less likely. I just think that you're not gonna find uh, Mikela's great rune super easily. Like, you're gonna fight the guy, I think. Beat him, get the great rune. Wait, do you think we fight Mikola? Yeah, I think so, at some point. Something, I mean, maybe. Something shitty happened to him there. Mm. Maybe he was good before, but, you know, the classic. Like Artorius. Artorius was good. 
but then uh, you have to fight him anyway. Um, I mean, I would be excited if Mikola is like the hidden Melania, basically, right? I am still thinking that. Hmm. I mean, after this trailer, Mesmer is, I think, like, rose a lot in importance. Maybe a little bit too much. I was thinking that Mesmer would be kind of like Malenia, that he's mm. a really difficult, like, optional boss. Mm. Even though it's, like, DLC, but if there's some kind of a story structure, some of the bosses are going to be more important than others, right? And so I was thinking, okay, maybe Mesmer is, like, one of the side ones. But at this point, I don't think so. I don't think he's the final boss. I don't know who is, but... He is gonna be like very important to, to the story of it. Mm. Um, I mean, he could be the one right before the final boss, right? Something like that. And Mikola could be the hidden, more hidden, really strong boss potentially, be, yeah. the optional one. Yeah, because with Malenia in the original trailers, you really only get to see her fighting Radan. Mm. And like. There's one of the trailers where she, like, impels the player and stuff, right? But, mm -hmm. um, you also saw Mesmer, uh, finding the player already in the first trailer. Yeah, so I, th I think he's gonna be more important. I do think that he's more, like, more god. More, like, mm -hmm. uh, just something that needs to actually be defeated, right? Like, you don't have to kill Radan, but you do have to kill more god to finish. Yeah. Something like that. Something like Maliketh. Mm hmm Something like, uh, Horolu, something like that. That's another thing as well, like, I do think that, uh, Mesmer is definitely misrepresented, because that's what you want to do. Guys that are opposing you want to present them as bad guys. Right? Like, there's, it's gonna be one of those things again, it's not like Rikard and Volcano Matter was necessarily bad, they were against the Golden Order, but... The way they do it is not really good. Mm. Yeah, I do like that idea. It's like because they are the followers of Mikola, like so extreme and stuff like that. If maybe Mikola used some ways of making them love him so much as well mm. and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and then everyone just thinks he's this good person, and yeah, instead uh, try to uh, deter from himself with the uh, mesmer. Uh, maybe Mesma is the good one after all, and we find out only after we kill him. I don't think so, but... I don't think there's anyone that's good, eventually. Yeah. It's like... In Dark Souls 1, Gwyn is an asshole, right? But from a perspective, he's not. And then, you're like, okay, well, we are like, we're, we're the uh, undead, we represent the Dark Soul and stuff like that. Well, the Dark Soul itself is not the best either, because you see what happens in... The DLC to the villagers there when they are in contact with humanity. Um, and then the demons are also like obviously not good, but then they were in war with Gwyn, and it, it's just all like ambiguous. I don't think there's like someone is good or someone is bad. That's why you have the different endings in the base game as well. One that just follows like the Golden Order's will, and then the other ones. Agreed. Mm. Yeah, it would be very different to have someone who's actually kind. That's more like a, I don't know, like a Demon Souls type of thing. Mm. Because in Demon Souls, you are actually kind of cheered on by the NPCs rather than everyone mm -hmm. being a complete doomer. It's like, <laughs> oh, there's no help, there's no hope. <laughs> but in De Demon Souls, you actually, like, they believe that you can save them, basically. Yeah. It makes me think that maybe because we saw the... the, the Berserk inspired fire walking do multiple times here. Uh, it makes me think that maybe it's just gonna be like a Urchi avatar tier boss. Like yeah. You meet him several times actually. And the impaled giants, that is a little bit more interesting now. Because obviously Mesmer is impaling his foes, his main enemies. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what that means. I want to have someone nice who we can cheer. Mm. That's uh, that's the player. You need to cheer us. Early in the Mesmer Conquest, there's a ribbon-like skull flowing across the top left, similar to Rykard's Rancor. Mesmer's Flame looks very similar to Giant's Flame, which you need to burn the Ur Tree. That's what I've been wondering about all the time. If any of the flames might be coming uh, actually from the same source. Uh, maybe. Mesmer's looking over the battle there, a bunch of fire snakes look like. 
think they mean this. Oh, Rackard's Rancor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we saw that, yeah. Yeah, but I don't think it looks that much like the Rancor. It's too fluid. <laughs> I mean, it's not the same, of course not. But yeah, I but guess it has similar. It has some kind of a connection, yeah, to Raika for sure. I don't think it's supposed to be just the snake imagery. I think there probably is some kind of a connection to the the fires, the different fires and stuff. Just like with the yeah, the opening cinematic for Elden Ring or whatever. Like every single scene that they put has a lot of um thought put behind it in the trailers, but. I mean, I think a lot of trailers, not all of them are good, but I think all of them try to have every single second count, because a trailer is literally that, right? It's it's an advertisement, basically. Yeah, exactly. It is context for a game we haven't really, uh, haven't really explored, but at the same time, we already have some kind of base. It's not like it's a completely new game. We do have the fundamental knowledge of the Golden Order and everything like that. Miss Man Marika's... A mesmer is Maracas and God Devouring Serpent's firstborn child. Could that also be the affair that they talked about in the start? I don't think so. But isn't Rikard the son or something? I like I don't know. Well I guess Rikard like just is like got taken over by the God Devouring Serpent, right? Yeah. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was not always the serpent, yeah. So interesting yeah i don't think that's that's necessarily a thing but then again guinevere fucked the fucking dragon and and why not like they did talk about an affair right not just once and spoke of the beginning i think the twist is that mesmer is the very first demigod born when most would assume it's golden that could be it yeah because golden order literally tries to you know erase him from anything. That's why you never hear about Mesmer in the base game. An affair from which gold Yeah, I don't I don't think that's that's it. I don't mm. think so. But it could be also, yeah, I don't know. I mean yeah, Marika was kind of with a bunch of people, right? Same as the other one. <laughs> why not the snake? I mean wasn't who was Marika with though? I mean Godfrey. Godfrey and then and Radagon. Then, yeah, Radagon one and the same, but like my question has always been, like, has Radagon and Marika been one ever since the beginning or not? I don't think so. I think they became one, no? Yeah, well, I don't think that's confirmed, necessarily. Because um, they could also be able to split, and then Radagon, maybe they were, like, completely, you know, they were uh, completely debating Renala, or was actually, like, Renala with Radagon, and then he actually came to Marika. Like, I don't know. No, yeah, maybe. Like, I just, I, I don't think we have a, an answer to that. He abandoned the Golden Order when they couldn't save Malenia from the rocks. I don't think that's why he left, though. No, I mean, like, that would also be in his interest, and in this trailer, it's basically made out to be that he gave up everything that he wanted to do, right? To, like, do something in this land. Which could also be, like, trying to save Malenia, but, like, I don't know. That doesn't really make sense to me. I think it more has to do with something in Me Mesma. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be that Mesmer was born with the snake, but... And so kindly, Mikula would abandon everything. I mean, he is very different compared to the other... children. If Mesmer can heal Melania, well, she's dead. But I mean, who knows, maybe she's gonna be the final, final boss. One more bloom. Well, the Golden Order was the Age of Plenty, and the most common Eden depiction has one man, one tree, and one snake. One man, one woman, tree, and a snake. Yeah, that, that is actually so true. And, I mean, here it was Marika in the beginning who did the betrayal, right? And then uh, the ancient lore, the female also did the eat the apple from the snake. Yeah, I mean, yeah, in a way, it could be, maybe. But then why does the... So is that why... So if, if, if that was Mesmer being born, is that maybe why he only has like the fire and the serpent demeanor? Because Marika stole the golden part from him? Mm. 
That, oh, could, that, that could be. Sense, so right? in the start, you that's combine actually... the snake, you combine the gold from Marika, and the child should have both, but Mesmer only has the fire and the snakes and the stuff. Seduction. That would also make a lot of sense why I'm it looks so much like Blasphemous Blade and stuff yeah, like exactly. that, right? So this is actually where Mesmer got born. She yeah. stole the betrayal, his golden hair. Yeah. So he became yeah. Mesmer. He ha now has red hair. And that's why he doesn't have her golden hair, but mm -hmm. Radagon's red mm -hmm. hair. Gold. Yeah. I like that. I like I that. Cracked I cracked the like cold that. guy. There you go. And yeah, there's also feet and stuff, and yeah. that's the most important part. Yeah, and part, this is actually. so much like the serpent. So like, it could it could be that that yeah. That that's how the earth tree was born. That uh, she couldn't do it on her own, but she stole it from the child, mm -hmm. and that's why Mesmer also attacked the Golden Order. Yeah, yeah right? and so it's the a betrayal. Yeah, and he is the firstborn demigod, yeah. but he's not born of just Marika and Radagon. Yeah. But born of the devouring serpent in Marika. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, it is, Viz. Like, absolutely. I know it was like a half joke, but. Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of the occult, the dragon communion, and the golden order approved dragon cult. But it looks closer to the primal dragon communion, which is another thing not accepted by the order. I like that theory though. Yeah, I like that idea so too. too was shadow born. Yeah, and like it would just make so much sense seduction. with the betrayal, the seduction, the betrayal. Yeah. Like the seduction is also like again, like the snake seduced the... Eve mm -hmm. with the apple, right? Yeah, and or, she got or, seduced I mean, by the snake as yeah, well. Yeah, I guess. Or maybe she I mean she could have seduced the snake as well. That as well, right? Yeah, of course. She she's the one stealing the the golden thread so mm -hmm. maybe that's like what well, her uh yeah i think she seduced and betrayed yeah and also possible yeah. Which gold arose. yeah that's what i'm thinking that this was her goal essentially to steal from the child mm -hmm. very interesting and so too was shadow born and maybe it was her intention to do the Golden Order, but not the Shadow or something. That kind of fucked her over. Could be, yeah. And maybe that's why Mesmer went to war, because he's like... <laughs> me, <"Bitch>! very much. <laughs> you betrayed yeah, give me. me. Back, yeah. <laughs> give me gold back, or leave. <laughs> so good. What followed was a I mean... war unseen. So what, what does unseen mean, right? Because that could mean a couple of things. Unseen, it could be the fact that it, like, war like no other. But yeah. it could also be one that wasn't expected. Well, I think, to me, it sounds like unseen, as unseen before. Like, there was never a war that was mm. as big as this one or something. Yeah. yeah. Also, look, the little hands. <laughs> Looks like little hands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. It's never seen before or hidden. So I'm thinking that I don't know. I mean, maybe she thought that the child was gonna die or something. It could also be that it's unseen from her because it's a war in the shadow realm. So it's a war that Mesma is having, right? And she doesn't see it because she's in the Golden Order land. Yeah, it's it could be that. Yeah, as well. Mm. One that could never be put to song. But that, that makes me feel like it's just because it's a grand war, because it can't even put, be put to song. <laughs> so that makes me think that it cannot be put to song because they tried to delete the memory of that war. And the that the fact that be. it happened at all. Mm -hmm. It has lots of themes of ancient alchemy, and this might have been her attempt to create a golden paradise, but the equal and opposite is still in the shadow. Because of how early it happened, no one has invented any instruments <laughs> back then. <laughs> Hmm. Might also be a reference to the betrayal of Randala. Golden tailoring tools, tools brought with the red haired Radagon when he married into the Carrion line. I don't know, I don't get any Renala. I don't think that is from the case. this. Yeah, but I, I do think that maybe the golden tailoring tools would then mean that already Radagon was with Renala. Mm. Uh, sorry, with uh, like one and the same with Marika. Mm hmm. Tyranny of Mesmus Flame. 
I really wonder who this is. I feel like it's maybe a new character. It also, I don't know, somehow it reminds me a little bit of Pia. Because of the hugging. <laughs> but I guess mm. she's just hugging some yeah, commander standard or... It looks a bit like all these in the background. It's just well. so weird. The way it's holding it, it is like a child. Yeah, exactly. Or like someone... Yeah, they're mourning someone. I mean, yeah. maybe they're mourning the commander who was holding this. I mean, it this. could be, yeah, but like... You can see how from storytelling isn't just what is told to you directly. I mean, that's been the case since Dark Souls 1. When you think about Frabbed feeding you Gwyn propaganda. Uh, and then you have Kath, who's also like playing you like a fiddle, so... Journey of Mesmer's Flame. You can see the hands here even more. I think this might be a leg. Uh, hand is trying to poke its nose. <laughs> Just booping. Mm -hmm. Elena quotes Marika at one point, saying, Radagon, you hound of Golden Order, you are yet to be me, yet to be God. So if they aren't one yet, this could be the betrayal uh, towards Radagon or God Godfrey. Maybe the snake bedtime. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I would think they weren't always one, but... Did you notice also the two sets of teeth? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see a sentence that they started as one, became two, and merged back together. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure that, like, mm. Marika and Radagon split at some point, yeah. But, like, I mean, if that's a true quote, then it does sound like, yet to be God, that doesn't sound like he was God before, and then wasn't anymore, and then it has to be again, you know? It sounds like they weren't, and then they became one. At least to me. That maybe they still unmerged and emerged again or some shit, but like, I mean, she might have just absorbed him as well, though, right? Like, I don't know. Looks very menacing. Yeah, it's the same. Hmm. Look very close to the eyes you get when consuming dragon hearts. Yeah, but I haven't paid attention to that ever. I know there's no. an, there's an animation when you are at the altar and you buy something from the dragon communion altar. Yes, I've seen it, but I don't necessarily think it has to mean anything. I don't think this DLC has anything to do with dragons. Honestly, I think it's a lot of snake heavy stuff, and then. I don't really think dragons are going to be a thing in this place. Yeah, here. I do think it looks like it's being it's pulled up, up for into, sure. like, being absorbed into the I mean, tree I or something. I think we saw that already in the previous trailer. Mm -hmm. I've never been set up. Where Marika became a god. Oh, Shadowlands is where Marika became a god and where the Earth Tree was born. The culture there before the Earth Tree and that lion dance comes from this culture. And yeah, I mean, that's what it makes sense that she betrayed her own child then to make the Earth Tree and become a god and then was fucked off, left him there <laughs> and made her own realm. Yeah, and she betrayed Mesma. That, that's what I was thinking. Right, that the child at the beginning that you see is Mesmer, who's born to Marika and the the serpent god, whatever. Yeah. And she steals the golden part. And so that's why Mesmer only, even though he's Marika's child, he's only left with the fire and the, the snake stuff. Yeah, and has red hair and everything. And I mean, it's the god devouring serpent, right? So like, he, I guess, maybe devoured some gods already and maybe she also stole some of that or something like that. Intercourse, you know? Left graceless, yeah. Yeah, and indeed, there was, a, there was a culture and stuff. I do remember that quote. So the lion is a grafted creature, right? So that basically means that the Golden Order, whatever culture was there before, they enslaved them, essentially, because the... Lion dance thing is is working, or is fighting against Mesmer, so it's fighting for the golden order. Mm. They usurped, or rather, just yeah, enslaved that previous culture. 
I mean, it could also be that she became... I mean, it could be one that she became, like, somehow a god through having sex with the serpent who devoured a bunch of gods. And that's why then the kids were demigods or she became a god before and then after she became a god she wanted to make the earth tree or something like that. Um, and that's why she betrays her firstborn child and something something. So it doesn't necessarily have to do like have to be all the, at the same time, right? But yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what the like what the Santrina connection is. Like what 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 did then Mikela become if he had to leave his, his gold and his power and everything, right? Like what happened then in this shadow realm? And how that is connected to the other purple that exists, like Astel and Elden Beast. Mm hmm And so kindly Mikela would abandon everything. Thought the snake was the His real mesmer, the body life. was uh, just like a puppet. It is also kind of interesting, actually. <laughs> I mean, there could even be like one to some extent, right? One entity as my end that snake, because mm -hmm. if he is born from both Marika and the serpent, there could be some snake like things left with him, right? Purple on the left and right in the meat hole seemed interesting. I think that's just how things looked before gold was born. Right? Before the Earth Tree and stuff. Mm. So that might have to do something with, like, I don't know, the Elder Gods. Stuff like that already existing. Strength. Even his faith. Yeah, blinding strength also sounds like a little bit menacing at times. <laughs> Yeah, well, I guess here she does ask, I would say us, will you walk with us, right? And so I guess the we might be someone else than the Tarnished, right? It could be the other Tarnished. I mean, yeah. Okay. We choose to follow. Will you walk with us? I think when they talk about Mikela giving up something, it's his right to rule the Golden Order. He's revoking his right as an Empyrean. I mean, that's probably what his fate was supposed to be, right? Yes, that's when they talk about... Uh, when they talk about abandoning his fate. Mm. I like to think the purple clouds are an Elden Beast nebula. I mean, it, it could be that, in a sense. Because in the end... Isn't, like, Marika basically like a vessel for uh, the... Uh, Whatever that god is, the elder god that Elden Beast kind of like, you know, shows up from. So it could be that that existed before and then Marika became god, created the Golden Order and stuff. Mm. Greater will, yeah, yeah, thank you. I forgot. Yeah, the Elden Beast is kept secret, exactly. And that's why, like, the Elden Beast existed before, right? Oh. No. El El I mean, an Elden Lord is already a creation of. The Golden Order, right? That idea already is just Golden Order's uh, propaganda, essentially. Like, I'm pretty sure Mesmer... I don't know if Mesmer had, like, some kind of a fate, but... Obviously, he was gonna be at least a demigod. I mean, demigod is also a propaganda term, but... Like, he was supposed to be a combination of Marika and an existing god already. I hope we get a war flashback like in DS2, but not shit. You mean that the <laughs> giant memories were not amazing? Need to watch it again five times to make sure nothing was missed before we continue the analysis further. No! No more! I'm done with it.
Yeah, that, 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 that's what I was thinking, though, definitely, that Mesmo, if anything, would have replaced the Marika herself, rather than become an Elden Lord, which is kind of like a puppet, essentially. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me us. on. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Trailer yeah, was cool. It was for a really story fun. trailer, I do think it looks uh, better than I would have... I Like, I enjoyed it more than I would have expected, because most trailers, I'm like, I want to see the gameplay, I want to see how the game looks, how it plays, mm -hmm. right? That's the more interesting thing, but... Uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you yeah. for having me on. It was really fun watching it together as well. Yeah, it was very talking cool. Talking about it together with chat and stuff like that. Of course, very cool. yeah. Very cool. All right, good luck on the run. See you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.